Hey everybody, this is Ian here, and today we are going to be talking about donkeys, airships, and taxis. Pretty much free ways to be able to get around in the world, and what you'll be using to start just for the beginning of your Arc Age uh, career. So, uh, getting donkeys is as kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a process. You start off by talking to this merchant recruiter over here and he will send you on a little bit of a quest line you know planting stuff and doing two or three trade packs but eventually it will lead you to this guy right here at least this is the way for um, for over here for over on Nui you'll still have to talk to the merchant recruiter do the planting do the two trade packs or so three I don't remember how many exactly and then it will bring you to the other trading guide on your side and you can kind of follow that along here but so far this is just for uh, just for the East Coast so Skeet, skeet. So when when that happens, he will give you a donkey to be able to ride. Now the donkey, um, I have a standard one here. This is one of the donkeys that you'll get just from going around and doing what you do. I have mine equipped with a couple of things, so but you know it could be kind of cute. So when you have a donkey, you can carry a trade pack on your back and ride about at a normal speed. When you level them up enough, say at about 25, then you will also be able to use the dreaming donkey ability which will allow you to go faster for a for a full minute not much faster but enough for it to be substantial so this is a great way to be able to get around from place to place on your own instead of just walking so over time you can also find other donkeys like i have as my default right now my lovely assistant bob yeah so Bob, Bob has also special abilities that he can do, but there's also more that you can get. There's also one from Mirage Isle that's blue fur, uh, sorry, white fur with a blue mane, and, that, and you know they're a little bit faster than your normal donkey. So that's just one of the ways that you can get around. And uh, what else was there? Oh yes, we're going to be talking about using taxis next. So just hold on a second here, and we'll bring you right there. So here we have what we like to call in our guild a carriage, but a lot of people on the server like to call it a taxi. So what this does is that if you uh, you can sit on it, you can use your pack while you're doing it as well, and it will bring you, if you take a look here, anywhere up to a certain point, and we'll just kind of travel back and forth between those multiple points. So if you look through this path, it should take us right next to the Cursed Village, which can bring us right next to Wayan, or wherever this guy's called and it'll bring us there, and so on and so forth. It's just a constant moving back and forth of resources. Like, you know, that one over there, no, it'll go on and so forth. So uh, what this means is that you have a free way to be able to transport your packs instead of having, and you could just kind of sit down on it, BAFK, and uh, just have, you know, have the world itself do your job for you. So... Uh, so if uh, so really if you do, can't afford a donkey you don't have a mount yet and you want to do a trade pack first off you should probably get up the money to be able to get a donkey because that will help you out because there are some places that a carriage does not cover but this is you know a really great way to just getting started will help you out with getting your packs around the world next i would like to talk to you about airship towers now you can find airship towers in multiple places around the world most notably falkorth with its two different ones as you can see in the background there you can also find one in mahadavi windscour two in rookborn well no just one in rookborn and uh, one in hasla now these uh, will be able to transport you back and forth using your uh, using your packs one at a time in order to go uh, just long distances with little effort so there are these aren't the only ones that are available, um, uh, but uh, this really is just the first one that I'm going to show you here. So, so, um, so yeah. At the top of them, you'll have the guide, and you'll have this little compass, which I'll well, spyglass, which I'll show you a little bit later. And um, really, there's only one way up for most of these, which is just climbing stairs. So let me go ahead and show you another one here. This is one of the examples for one of the airship towers. Now, this doesn't look like most of the other ones because this is in Hasla, but this has a little elevator that goes up and down. 
Now, one of the features of the airship towers is that there is no way for you to be able to get a car or um, a car or a taxi or a hauler up into the airship itself. So that way, the only way you can get up into one with a pack is either by foot or by donkey. I'm not sure if you will be able to get one through using a skateboard. That, I think, will have to be covered in our next video dealing with... Um, uh, dealing with the uh, haulers wagons and uh, haulers wagons cars and skateboards so be looking for that up in your subscription list if you if you've subscribed so as you can see it will bring you up and if you stand underneath it it will not crush you unlike the laws of physics tells us and instead bring you up to the top floor which if we get up there in a timely manner oh you can also bring mounts up through that as well the mounts will go through without an issue but as you can see here, um, all of the airship conductors will have the ability to have a manager spyglass, which you can see right here. So what that does is if you, let's zoom in a little bit, if you right click on this or press the F button, you will get a little circle that appears on your minimap. Now, nothing's really changing at the moment, so let's go ahead and wait until we can get a decent, uh, decent picture here. There we are. So as you can see right here, we have a what looks to be a, a little cart looking thing right here. That is actually the carriage. So you can find the you can find the um, uh, the spy glasses at either the airship conductors or at the uh, uh, or at the carriage conductors, and they will both show you if there is a carriage on route close to you or if there's an airship coming here. And that's really the best thing that you can do, especially if you're sitting there, you think you're going to wait for a while. Take a look through the spyglass, see if something's coming or leaving. And uh, that, that should help you out for being able to just move packs a little bit faster. Alright, so this here is the last item that we will be talking to about in today's video, which is the... Uh, which is the airship. Now, airships you can bring um, as many people as you want on. You can bring mounts on, but however, as you will remember, you cannot bring vehicles up. So it really is just one person that you can bring on if you're just doing one pack at a time. Now, oh, there's a little bit of lag here, but... Okay, there's a lot of lag here. So, with airships, all you have to do is you walk on, and you and your pack are safe as long as really there's nobody else on here. And a lot of people don't really use the airships that much, so if you want to get from one place to another place safe with guards near you anytime, this is probably one of the better ways to go, other than, you know, just having and just going through as well. So with airships, they can bring you, as you can see from this side, from Hazlitt of Bourne, and it'll bring you to Central Trading Hub here, which you can go just about anywhere with. Or, if you're on Nuia, it's a little bit different, a little bit more complicated, but it, it's the same premise where you will have the ability to go just about, any, uh, just about anywhere using these airships. But again, really with the limitations, you can only bring on one at a time. So, um... As a final footnote of the video, I'm just I'm just going to say the uh, there are positives and negatives for each ones. For example, donkeys. Yes, you can carry a pack a little bit faster than walking, but it's slow. That that's just plain and simple. Whenever you have a donkey, even if you have one that looks as fabulous as mine. Wagons and cars and airships, sure, they can all bring you something much faster than walking or using a donkey, but at the same time, it has very limited options on where you want to bring, and where you want to or can bring a trade pack. Um, even airships have very, even more limited possibilities, and they take a while to be able to show up, so it leaves you more open to being attacked and leaves you vulnerable while you're waiting for them. So... Really, my best case situ uh, scenario is get yourself a donkey. Go through the uh, Blue Salt Brotherhood questline in order to make sure you do have that extra safety net just to be able to go a little bit faster. So, but again, it is all up to you as far as doing one pack at a time. These are your three, well, four if you include walking, best options. Thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe if this helps you out, or leave a comment in the video if there's something I missed. Um, I will be covering tomorrow's video should be about haulers, wagons, cars, and skateboards, and any other vehicles that you have available to you on land. So thank you very much, and have a good one.